All right, welcome back to Pipecast. On this episode of First Impression, Last Review, Hodgepodge, and part of Early Boy Summer, we're talking about Granger. Let's look at that blend. Hello. What we have here is Granger. It's Burley. Let's get back to the video. All right, that was Granger. Like all the other hodgepodges, uh, it's Burley. It's just Burley with a anisette topping. So there you have it. That's Granger. <laughs> uh, so this is the first video. Uh, I know uh, the last week we we did put out a video. We were a little bit on a hiatus. Let me tell you what I've spent a month, and it's it's a weird situation where it's not like I'm constantly coughing, but it's like I can never have a good cough where it just clears you out. It's like every cough, I'm hitting a wall. And then you do it so much that you then get a headache. So it's just like, it's it's been that for four, for four weeks, man. And so I, this is the first time I have lit a pipe since, you know, since, uh, since whenever we recorded um, Dark Strong, I believe it was. So. Um, nice. Sorry, I just I sort of disconnected. This is going to be a this is going to be something where we're going to have problems, I guess, recording. So the gods have spoken, and they do not want us talking tobacco, apparently. Yeah, just for uh, clarity, we are recording this while severe weather is has come through, is on the way. You know, so there, there may be some hiccups here. Maybe we can fix some of them in in post, but bear with us. We're trying to get some stuff in because <laughs> I'm I'm going to be out of town at the end of the month. So we just want to make sure that we don't have any more um, off weeks, basically. So. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is Granger. We got to get together, man. Like, it's weird, you know. You know what? We, I said we got to get together, too. We ain't seen each other in a minute. Mm -hmm. Which we got, you know, we got planned a few things to, to get together and... Uh, of course, y'all know, you know, when we get to October, you know, we we gonna have some things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mm. but yeah, Granger, man. I mean, you want to kick off, or I'm kind of this is my first smoke with it. Yeah, this is this is technically, I guess, my second bowl with it. Um, I do remember a little bit of my first impression of it. Um, I, I think this is again, this is getting. I don't. Know, I yeah, think we're getting a little bit better. Hey, UPS just pulled up. Huh? UPS just pulled up. What do you mean? Like the UPS guy. Oh, the, I thought you said. I thought you said your BS. Like, like it, all of a sudden I was bullcrapping people. No, give me a second because I guess there's a, there's a package. It's your light. I mean, yeah. Hey, man, how's it going? Thanks, sir. Have a good one, yes, sir. That ain't 1792 flag, is it? No, because I just ordered it like five minutes ago. That be some fast service. It would be fast. This is something my wife ordered, probably for her work. Looks like yep. business cards. My my wife just got business cards in the mail too. But yeah, um, so yeah. So this is my second bowl, and I think this is um. um or did I? Like Oh, you son of a dog! You said you ordered it from uh, me. No, <laughs> if that's your old, that's your old deal. A little magic trick for you. <laughs> you dog. It's already a rough episode. Anyway, Granger. Granger, man. So, I, you know, I've said it before. We hit the high water mark with Sir Walter Raleigh. Everything else is kind of we started going downhill with. Carter Hall, Captain Black, and then we start started to go back up with Velvet. And I think 
Granger is we're continuing that rise back up to Sir Walter. I think I think Granger is a good blend. It's it's got the flavoring of Sir Walter, but it's a little bit more rough around the edges. Um, I mean, they all kind of have the same flavor, but um, but it's not as smooth as Sir Walter. But I like it. I, I, I think it's right now it's second best. Granger is. I definitely say that it ain't as smooth as velvet. Like velvet has, I don't know, man. Like either that's the greatest campaign of all time, where they have actually put a term in my brain for when I'm smoking it. But it does feel like cloudy, velvety smooth when you smoke the smoke. The flavor isn't as robust as Sir Walter Raleigh, which is funny because this has a better flavor than velvet. Not as smooth as smoke. Yeah. So I guess really. Pound for pound, it would appear that Sir Walter Raleigh might actually have the edge on round all, all, all like all around, like pound for pound, like the best, you know, hodgepodge. But yeah, in terms so of in terms of smoothness, like a velvety smoothness from like a cloud, a puff cloud that goes to velvet, and I think that this might actually have a stronger flavor. Granted, it is reminiscent of Sir Walter. But this actually might have more ana, ana, this, amethyst uh, flavoring in it, like a licorice flavoring in it, than say like uh, Sir Walter Raleigh. That'd be right. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Which is interesting. I mean, I don't think it's a bad smoke at all. No. What, you know, I mean. I mean, I think Sir Walter, Granger, and Velvet, all three are are worth people's time. Um, I, I still, I'm just not convinced, and it's not necessarily me being a contrarian, but I just, I'm not convinced that Captain Black and Carter Hall are all that great, you know, after after having I these three. I think there's more artificial cough syrupiness to those, and there is more like actual flavoring to these like actual like natural when i say natural i mean obviously there's a topping casing whatever you want to say to this but i think that those flavorings probably are um natural like they probably took actual ameth amethyst and like is that right amethyst or anise, anise star anise yeah anise said i think is how it was worded <laughs> And it's like I keep saying amethyst. That's a stone. I'm an idiot. Um, they take real amethyst stone and then they they put in healing, pills. and then that's how you when you smoke it, you know, it it heals your chakras. This is the so, one. This is the one tobacco that you can buy at Romancing the Stone. <laughs> they actually sell it. Yeah. Um. But no, I mean, I I think you know, I think you're onto something, and and. I, I want to go back for just a second, though. Something that we're going to try to start doing a little bit more of. Uh, we've had a comment in the in the in the recent videos of talking about the pipes we smoke uh, or we smoke out of. So we used to say this on our audio only uh, pipe cast, but we haven't so much in the YouTube's. But so this is a uh, 2019 JM Boswell nose warmer. That I have affectionately called Chody Boy. Um, if, if you've been with us for any long period of time, uh, you, you you have seen Chody Boy a lot. It's my, I guess it's one of my go-tos because it's so just, you know, small and it's just. I, I've I've become more a fan of small bowl pipes, it's, it's, even though I have like half of mine are are large bowls. I just I smoke my small bowls a lot more regularly. So so that's what I'm smoking out of. Zach, what do you what do you got there? Um this is a uh Cornell and Deal uh Missouri Meerschaum. I think it's called a country gent. Um I don't think there's two that are like there's one's like I think this one might be country gent and there's another one that's like, like a Charleston gentleman or something like that. I can't remember. But uh this is one of their little special um i think um what do you call it when you work with someone on something collaborations with cornell and deal um 
you know, when I'm smoking something I'm not super familiar with, or I'll throw it in a corn cob. Because one, um, I'm not worried about ruining anything. I think it's like a, actually, I don't know now. With inflation, who knows how much this is. But like, I think it was like a $15, $20 pipe. Yeah. Which is nothing, I mean, like, I'm not saying like, you throw away 15 20 bucks, but I mean like. Um, Compared to 100 or 200 Yeah, right. So, to go yeah. Though, that's what I've been smoking most of the, uh, I think I smoked most of the codger blends out of a cob, which seems appropriate to me. Mm-hmm. My problem with cobs, and it is solely a problem for me, I mean, it could be a problem for other people, but um, I'm not saying this to say that you shouldn't. I'm just saying for me personally, oh, I hate saying me personally, it's like this being redundant, but for me, um, you know, I already have a hard time really digging in and, and, and kind of picking out what's happening. And um, I've just noticed anytime I smoke anything out of a cob, it just dulls the flavor so much that I can't pick nothing. Out. And so I've kind of shied away from, from my cobs because I even bought another one, a small like little mini cob to use more regularly, but I can't, I can't, I can't do it because it's just, it just uh, it 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 alters my my experience when I'm trying to hunt down these flavors. So I don't I, I don't know. Maybe as I get more experience, it'll it, you know I'll be able to do that. But I, that's just been my experience with cobs lately. Yeah, I mean, I feel that way about like just regular meerschaum. Oh, really? I think cobs are the only pipe that I think I could actually say that like you could but you should buy a cob for a specific blend then it'll cake and it'll all have that kind of uniform flavoring yeah but well, that's one interpretation i i mean you know yeah but well you know getting back to granger again I, I think i think granger is a you know on the limited smokes that i've had of it you know i, I think yeah, it's, it, it, when we get to the end of the year and we've gone through more of the codgers, which we should be knocking out most all of your just normal original flavored codgers by the end of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I think Granger uh, will will be one of the finalists for at least on my side and, pro- and probably your side too. I think it's safe to say for for you and me both, it's Sir Walter Granger and Velvet in some order. Those those are have been the standouts. I do think that this is the most savory. I think Velvet's probably the easiest smoke. And I think, like I said, Sir Walter Raleigh is um, a pound for pound, probably the top contender because yeah. it, it's not, is it the smoothest? No, that goes to Velvet. Is it the most flavorful? Probably that would Ranger need a couple more smokes. But if you're looking for the best of both worlds, that's why I think Walter Raleigh comes out on top. I think I would agree with that. So, so yeah, so that's, uh, that's Granger. I mean, you know, um, I don't want to, you know, we don't want to drag it on too much. I know we, we've been gone for, for a week, so I don't, you know, well, for me and Zach, it feels like we've, we've been gone for a month, but, uh, for you, it, hopefully it's a week. Oh well, yeah. It was like time's flying and can't slow it down. No. Uh, so, but, you know, right after this video, um, we're going to record another one and that'll be next week and it's going to be a pipe chat. So it'll be a long daddy for you. So um, we're going to get into and get into and get into that. So um, forgive us if this one's a little short, but you'll, you'll have some good next week. So um, that's Granger. We'll catch you next time. Yeah.